Hi everyone, I'm Tom Watkins with Advanced Upstream, and today I'd like to share with you some of the testing that goes on behind the scenes of our completion tools. So beside me in the in the vise is a limitless frac sleeve, and today we're going to be demonstrating a test, a differential pressure test at temperature. So what we'll be doing is bringing the temperature with the heating tapes that you can see applied uh, to 125 Celsius, at which point we'll apply 105 MPA or about 15,000 psi differential on the sleeve. And what this is doing is, is checking that all our seals are correct and we don't have any premature failures in any of the O-rings or, or other elastomeric seals that are installed in our sleeves. So behind me, you can see our high pressure pumping equipment. And to my right or the left side of the frame, you can see our laptop that's displaying the differential pressure right now and the temperature. So right now we've got uh, about 900 PSI and the temperature is hovering right around 125. Further to the right of the screen or your left, um, you'll see a, a video monitor that's showing the, the sleeve actually in, in real time so we can see if there's any leaks. And this is all behind the, the concrete wall so we don't have any risk of uh, anything blowing up. So Vast, let's get, uh, let's get the pump going. Let's bring our pressure up to 15,000 PSI or about 105 MPA. And we'll, we'll see how our, our sleeve fares. On the laptop, you'll see the, the yellow line here start to increase. or sorry, the red line started to increase. The yellow line is our temperature and the red line is our pressure. Right now we're at about 2,700 PSI. 3,200. 3,200. I'll just gradually bring the pressure up. We got 5,600. Well, there's 14,000 PSI, or just about a 15. Once we achieve 15,000, we'll, we'll leave it sit for about half an hour, just to confirm that our, our seals and everything are working as they, as they should. So there's 14,680 VAS. I want to bring it right up to a good 15. Just a one more shot, maybe. To 15, just increase the pressure right to 15,000. Or 14,760. That's good there. So we'll leave it in this configuration for half an hour and we'll see what, uh, what happens. So it's now 240. We'll come back at uh, about 10 after three and we'll, we'll see what the pressure looks like on the screen here. Okay, so it's just after 10 after three right now. We've had the pressure applied on our sleeve, uh, 15,000 PSI. We're about 105 MPA at 125 Celsius, and uh, we've hardly lost any pressure at all. Um, I think we've had one pump stroke, and that's probably from just a little bit of seepage out of the eight round threads. But you can see from the, from the sleeve itself in the vise, it's holding, the temperature is stabilized, and we've successfully demonstrated we can hold 15,000 PSI differential at 125 Celsius. So I've asked you want to go ahead and bleed it down, and then we'll go and inspect the, uh, the sleeve for, for any any water, any drippages. Okay. 
I don't think we'll see any, any wet spots, but uh, we'll go take a look here in a moment. So we'll take a look at our sleeve after the pressure test. You can see everything is dry. We don't have any water on the floor anywhere. Um, I think we might've had a slight drip out of the eight round thread, but not enough to, to create a drip or any wet spots on the floor. But we'll just show you um, to see that we actually had our temperature at 125C, you know, with our, with our little uh, infrared thermometer here, we're reading about 115 or so um, on the sleeve. I don't know if you can get that, Jayhun. These are sometimes not always the, the most accurate, but we do have our sleeve at temperature. It definitely is hot. Um, all of our testing is done in advanced upstream in a safe manner. We've got this particular sleeve installed in our concrete bunker in a vise that's bolted to the floor. So if there's any release, it's contained and we expect it to happen.